Disclaimer All the materials and examples used in this video are only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. Hey guys, Venki here. Hope you all doing good. Welcome back to another video of my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to perform pivot attack. Okay, what is pivot attack? It is a simple technique an attacker can use it to move from one compromised system to another system within the same network or different network. In this demonstration, I set up three virtual machines. One is going to be a hacker machine. The IP address is 192.168.1.178. The second virtual machine is configured with two network adapters which is having two IP address 192.168.1.16y which stays on the same network where attacker is connected to and this machine is also connected to a different network IP address is 192.168.148.134 uh, why I set up two network adapter for this machine is I'm going to use this as a edge machine or a proxy machine so that attacker can connect to this proxy machine and perform pivot attack third virtual machine is completely secured and cannot be connected from outside network which can be connected only from IP series 148 which means our proxy machine only can connect to the third virtual machine nowhere attacker can connect to this third virtual machine now let's get into an action i will show you how to perform pivot attack which means hacker machine the ip address 192.168.1.178 can connect to 192.168.148.133 which is uh, set up on the secured network so now i'm connected to uh, attacker uh, call Linux machine we can see the IP address is 192.168.1.178 which means the broadcasting IP series ending with 1.255 range next I'm showing you a second virtual machine which is set up with the two network adapters where we can see two IP address assigned to this machine we can see first IP address um, is 192.168.1.165 which means 1.255 IP range and the second IP address ending with 148.134 which means the second network IP range series is 148.255 this machine is going to be our first target which means as an attacker I'm going to connect with this proxy machine and um, I'm going to perform pivot attack from that machine Next one is the last virtual machine uh, IP range ending with 148 series again um, this is set up in a secured uh, zone you can connect to this machine only from proxy machine nowhere attacker can connect to this machine I will show you the ping response from the attacker machine first so I came back to attacker machine I am typing ping command to the uh, third virtual machine which is uh, connected to the secure network I'm not getting any response at all and we can see 10 packets been transmitted from attacker machine and we have not received any response at all complete packet loss which means that machine is completely out of reach from the attacker machine but at the same time if i perform the ping uh, command from the proxy machine i would be able to see the response which means our target machine can be connected only from proxy machine so being an attacker if i want to connect to a third virtual machine i should use the second virtual machine as a proxy which means i have to connect to that machine first from there I need to transfer all my connections to the third machine so we can use a powerful tool called um, yes shuttle that will create a tunneling for us we can uh, get this yes shuttle tool installed using apt uh, command just type apt install yes shuttle it will take a while to download and install on your call the next machine 
we can use the help command to show us more options if you want syntax is very simple as we see we need to use yes uh, shuttle and then provide the remote uh, host name and then provide the subnets where we want to connect to um, here i am typing that s yes shuttle from the target machine i am going to use the second machine as my proxy that ip address ending with 1.165 so our syntax is very simple yes shuttle iphone remote host which is nothing but the proxy machine ip address and then i'm providing the subnets as um, 192.168.148 slash 24 which means any machines which is having ip range ending with 148 dot star can be connected through uh, the proxy machine Imagine this scenario, an attacker already exploited a um, second machine, a proxy machine and uh, an attacker already have credential to login. So I provided the credential to login into the second machine from where I can connect to the third secured machine. Here we can see yes shuttle has already connected to the server which means uh, from the target machine we connected to the second machine IP address ending with 1.165 from there we created a tunnel we can connect to any machines which are having IP range ending with 148 dot star to validate this let's try to connect to target machine from our attacker machine i'm trying to access the web application which is hosted on the uh, target machine i'm successfully able to uh, open it which means a tunnel is created properly from the proxy machine also let us try to connect to that third virtual machine from this attacker machine i'm trying to do a ssh connection uh, providing the target um, virtual machine ip address and uh, imagine i also have credential to log in onto the third virtual machine i'm successfully able to log in perfect um, so here we performed a pivot attack already which means from the attacker machine we did a tunneling to proxy machine and a connection established and we are able to connect to a third virtual machine third virtual machine is sitting on the private network so if we terminate the yes shuttle connection it will drop out all the connection which means a target machine cannot be connected from an attacker machine so here i interrupted a shuttle connection which means proxy is disabled uh, so now we cannot connect to the third virtual machine uh, let's try to access that web application and try to do uh, ssh um, connectivity it will drop out completely look at here web page is not responding which means it is not reaching out to the destination at all and same way we are not getting any response for ssh connectivity as well uh, let me try to ping that um, uh, target machine i should not be getting any response back here we go so nowhere a target can be connected from from an attacker machine so this is how pivot attack works an attacker generally try to connect to a low security machine from there uh, an attacker can try to connect to other machine which sits on the high security zone that's all for today guys i uh, hope this demonstration helps please um, like share and comment my video and um, subscribe to my channel